On Netflix, I watched The Net from 1995. I did this for one particular reason. Friend of mine, Frito Crash, guy I used to play some games with, guy who makes some YouTube, he worked on this movie. This was the first movie at which he ran security. He, uh, I guess he spent some time with Sandra Bullock. This is at her peak starlit phase. She's coming off speed. She's coming off while you were sleeping. She's a huge star. And she is, as he put it, the nicest person he ever met working in Hollywood. Period. End of. And I absolutely take his word for it. So, uh, being from 1995, this is a thriller that makes use of the internet. And probably one of the first mature ways to go about this. Same year as Hackers, but it's not cringy. It's not filled with hacker speak. It doesn't play you like that. You know, this tries to be a mature themed movie. And Sandra Bullock does order a pizza online at the start. These are things that happen. <laughs> you have to get over with. It could be a little nostalgic for you. If you remember logging on, using the landline, if you're my age, you may have big recollection of this. I had the internet in 1994 on Prodigy. And granted, I watched this movie two weeks ago and I'm trying to remember some of the details. But Sandra Bullock's basically a, a remote uh, coder of sorts. Keeps to herself. You know, can't even go out to get food. Orders online. She sent some code and it has secrets on it or, or that this uh, virus software is not as safe as they say. It has a back door. There was like a senator who learned of these things. And the, all the crimes in this largely go based on hacking. Uh, he, he commits suicide because medical records say that he was diagnosed with AIDS. So he thought he had AIDS, but it was, it was hacked. He didn't really. And in some ways it gets a little stupid. Uh, Sandra Bullock, the only time I think I've seen her in a swimsuit, looking pretty damn good, uh, gets wooed by this guy who turns out to be a hacker that she hung out with in a chat room but he wants her dead. I, he could have gone about this a better way, but he's easily foiled by her. And she's just so nonchalantly, oh, you had this gun, but I don't, oh, I took the bullets out, so uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of odd. I kind of thought that maybe Sandra didn't do the best acting right there, because she seemed really nonchalant about nearly being assassinated. Uh, but she ends up in this cat and mouse game, gets uh, her identity stolen, First movie with uh, identity theft online? Question mark. Everybody thinks she's somebody else. She had to lie to get back in the United States. Only guy who might believe her, Dennis Miller. Second billing takes about an hour to show up into the movie. Maybe it's 45 minutes. Some therapist she had a fling with. He gets poisoned quickly. He's the only guy who believes her. He gets poisoned, she takes some penicillin. At the hospital, it's like, well, he's allergic to penicillin, but he'll be fine. That's what the nurse at the counter said. Or the, the orderly, the secretary, whatever, said this. Sandra Bullock comes back. He had some documents switched around, and now he's being given insulin for diabetes. Kills him. And, and the gal who said, oh, well, he had he had an uh, allergic reaction to penicillin. Now it's, well, he's diabetic. What the hell? Do you not remember saying this? I realized they switch the file on the web. Well, that doesn't mean you have to get full tilt. Still stupid now, does it? Stupid. Really? Uh, I mean, this isn't particularly exciting, but you may have a bit of a nostalgic pull here. Uh, Sandra goes into the headquarters, a place where she, uh, the people behind this, the gal who's posing as her, uh, foils the operation there, you know, through keyboard immediately runs out the building when she gets made and runs into basically CES. I believe this is a fictional Pan Pacific Computer Expo. I believe it's fictional and you know, it has a bit of a fight there, but has to log into a computer, get the word out about this program having a back door. It's silly. Is it fun? Maybe not really. Does it seem antiquated and boring in parts? Yes, it does. Um, 
but she gets you know her life back in order but there really isn't a guy for her it's it's kind of odd hell at one point she even gets in prison and is broken out and realizes that the guy who broke her out was one of the bad guys not actually fbi you know department whatever no he's not she she actually gets let out by one of the guys who's trying to kill her get more information where she had a backup disc things like this she didn't actually have a backup disc so there wasn't really much reason to go after sandra uh, further in the film but you know, it doesn't really end all that too excitedly and maybe that's why you don't see this in heavy rotation or brought up maybe aside from sandra bullock, bullock ordering pizza online i give the net from 1995 two out of four stars.